What's happening in Leafs Nation? Well, the playoffs are here, and of course, everybody's doing their predictions. We've got uh, pundits, we've got fans, we've got radio hosts, we've got former players, and we've even got a monkey making the picks. Well, of course, you got to have some kind of gimmick to keep people interested, right? I mean, hey, this is so easy, anybody could do it, right? Right, which is why I'm giving you the inaugural season of Severn versus the Hamster. You're saying that like this is going to be some kind of a challenge for me there, pal. I'm going to wipe the floor with you. You're going down faster than a box of Smarties at Rosie O'Donnell's house. Get ready to feel the pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk all you want, pal. Remember, at the end of the day, I'm the guy who keeps the dog from chewing on you. Anyways, I'm going to get to my picks. First round in the Eastern Conference today. So, what do we got? One versus eight, Boston, Montreal. What else is there? Of course, Montreal is the centennial and all that other nonsense that goes with it. And Boston is just the best team in the Eastern Conference, statistically speaking, right now. Okay, so where do we begin? Boston's bigger, Boston's meaner, Boston's got more depth. Boston's got a better goalie, so Boston should win. I'm taking Boston in five games. Now, what about you, Mr. Hamster? Well, of course... He could make his picks an interesting way, but because he's the singing, dancing hamster, he's got to do it his own particular way. So, I've got this set up, as requested. Boston on one side, Montreal on the other. Spin the little wheel here. And when he starts singing, I stop spinning. Okay? Okay, are you ready? I guess he's ready, folks. Okay, here we go. Hamster. Pink. Let's do it. Boston. Washington and New York. You can stop singing now. Yeah, he's got to rub that in. Eh? He's just always got to rub it in. You damn right I'm going to rub it in. I'm taking this, man. You just wait. Okay. New York and, uh, and Washington. All right, goaltending is key here. New York's got it with Henrik Lundqvist. Washington doesn't with Jose Theodore. There's a reason he's on his, what, third team since the lockout already. The Caps, of course, have Alexander Ovechkin. The Rangers kind of have this weird mix of stars. Well, not quite stars, but really, really talented players that don't seem to live up to expectations. There's the Sean Avery thing, but I think it's overrated. For me, it comes down to the simple fact that I think New York has more lines to work with than Washington, and I like Mark Stahl versus Alex Ovechkin. There's a defenseman to challenge him. I am taking the Rangers in six games. Mr. Hamster, let's begin. He's going with Washington, folks. New Jersey, Carolina. Now, this is interesting. These are two teams that really haven't seen a lot of turnover. Not to say they haven't. Obviously, New Jersey's lost guys. Uh, like Gomez, and of course Carolina doesn't have the same lineup it did when it won the Stanley Cup a few years ago, but there's two very experienced teams. The thing is, though, of course, Carolina seems to have New Jersey's number, especially in Raleigh. I think they've got like an over 700 winning percentage against the, the, the Devils in Raleigh, North Carolina. Of course, the Devils have got home ice here, so that might play into it, but 
I really like the way Carolina is playing. I know some people say, well, New Jersey was just getting ready to go into the playoffs, and that was their mindset. I think Carolina is just playing too good down the stretch. I am taking the Carolina Hurricanes in a seven-game thriller. What do you got for us, Mr. Hammy? He's going with Carolina, too. And finally, the Battle of Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh, and Philly. I'm not even going to get into this one because there's always the same thing with Philly as their goaltending. So I'm just going to say the Penguins are going to win this five games Book it. Done. What about you? He's taking Pittsburgh, too. You keep taking a lot of my picks here. Yeah, I, I'm trying to make this original, and this guy keeps taking most of the picks that I am. Of course, he took uh, Washington. Well, I guess that's just to be a pain in the ass. He's an Ovechkin fan, I suppose. But what is your deal, anyways? You have to keep singing while I'm talking here. Do you? Do you? I guess he does. Hey, pal. Look. The dancing's for free. The singing is because that's what I do. You don't like it? Go cheer for the Senators. Count yourselves lucky you don't live with them, folks. I gotta put up with this every day. Okay. Those are the Eastern picks. I'll be back in tomorrow with the Western Conference. See you then.